In this video, we will be doing an overlay using the new acrylic gel Aora from Nailchemy in sheer pink. We start by sanitizing the client's hands. Then using our cuticle pusher, we gently push back the cuticle to remove any dead tissue that may be on the nail plate. This is an important part of the process as any dead tissue remaining on the nail plate can cause issues with lifting of products. Then using the other side of our cuticle pusher, the knife, we gently go around the cuticle area and side walls to further ensure all that dead tissue has been removed. Then using some cleanse and a lint free wipe, we thoroughly cleanse the nail. Then using the 240 side of our file, we gently buff the nail plate to remove the surface shine, as this also helps with adhesion. We then file the shape and length required by the client. And with our lint free wipe, we again thoroughly cleanse the nail, making sure you get right in to the cuticle area and side walls to remove any dust that may have been created during the filing process. Then we will apply nail prep. This is a temporary dehydration of the nail plate. So applying a small amount on the brush, apply on the nail plate, ensuring not to touch the client's skin. Allow this to air dry. Then we will apply a layer of base coat. So laying down our brush and fanning out the bristles, we push back to the cuticle area and all the way up to the free edge. Then using the side bristles, come up one side and then the other. And cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then getting our dampened dish and our Aora slip solution, we decant a small amount of solution into the dampened dish. Then using the nail can be brush which has the brush on one end and the spatula on the other. We cleanse the spatula end with a lint free wipe and some cleanse. And push our brush into the Aora slip solution to ensure it's all the bristles are moistened. Remove any excess and then we're ready to begin. So squeezing a pea-sized amount of the sheer pink onto our spatula. The amount, of course, will depend on the length of the nail. So we're applying it to the back third of the nail. 
then dipping our brush into the slip solution as this allows us to move the product easier. We pat and mold the product into the desired shape. Patting and pushing up to the cuticle area to get a flush cover at the area and on the side walls. So patting and pushing to ensure we have a flush cover at the cuticle area and side walls. If you feel your brush is sticking, dip it back into the slip solution and go back to patting and molding the gel into shape. One of the many advantages of Aora is it doesn't cure until it goes into the lamp. So you have plenty of time to get the shape that you require. So making sure that your apex is in the proper position, you can gently pat and move the product until you have it where you want it. Again, if you feel your brush is sticking to the product, just dip back into the slip solution. So gently pulling back if we need more at the apex area and then smoothing out so that we have a nice even surface. Checking that our application at the cuticle area is flush. Then looking down the barrel to ensure we're even from side to side. Checking our apex and upper arch. And once you're happy, put it into the lamp for 60 seconds. Aora does cure with a slight inhibition layer and this will be removed with cleanse on our lint-free wipe. Then using the 180 side of our file, we will finish file or refine the nail. So we start by going around the cuticle area to ensure we have a smooth application here. Filing in the direction of the nail and using our thumb to feel where we have any lumps or bumps that we may need to remove. Checking our side walls, making sure they're straight and even and the thickness at the free edge is correct. And keep filing until you're happy with your application. As you can see, there's very little dust from Aora, which is also another advantage. Checking the nail again, looking from the side view to make sure our apex is right and that we have a nice upper arch. We will then thoroughly cleanse the nail again with cleanse and a lint free wipe. making sure to get into the cuticle area and those side walls to remove any dust that may have been created during the filing process. At this point, you could then apply a no wipe top coat. We have chosen to apply a color. Here we're using Ritual from the Midnight Magic Collection. So applying your product and pushing back to the cuticle area and all the way up to the free edge. Then going back in to refine our cuticle application, we gently push as close as possible to the cuticle without touching the skin. Then using our side bristles, come up one side and then the other. Remove any excess from the brush 
go back over your application to ensure you have a nice, smooth, even surface. Again, checking your cuticle application to get it as close as possible. And cap your free edge and cure in the nail in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now we're applying our second coat. Again, going over more than once to ensure a smooth surface. Cured for 30 seconds in the lamp, we will now apply our layer of no white top coat. Using the same technique, pushing back to the cuticle area as close as possible and all the way up to the free edge, then up one side and then the other. And making sure to cap your free edge. And then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So this is our finished nail, the overlay with the Aora Acrylic Gel in sheer pink. We will now apply the Nail Come Elixir to rehydrate the skin. So starting at the back and underneath the free edge, gently massage this oil to rehydrate the, the finger. And there is our overlay with the new acrylic gel Aora in sheer pink from Nail Camille.